Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at how to install a completely free VPN for your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, or potentially other computers as well. There are other links available as we go through the tutorial. So this will install a VPN or virtual private network onto your desktop PC. So potentially you can access sites that are maybe outside of your jurisdiction, or potentially if you just want to connect to another secure site, then potentially you can use it for that as well. For a lot of people here in the UK, there is a new reason why potentially you might want one, but we won't go into that. Obviously, if you found this video, you know exactly why you want it. So without further ado, let's take a look at the computer and see how it's done. Okay, so here we are on our Windows desktop. So first thing you want to do is open up your web browser of choice and just go to open VPN. Links for this will be in the video description as well if you want to take advantage of those. So you can either go straight into here, so open VPN, and if you want to, you can go to the community section, and this is the free version, so you can download it from here. So open VPN source, download the open VPN MD64 MSI. This will generally reflect what your system is. Alternatively, if you want to download a different version, you can scroll down and there's versions for Windows ARM, older Windows 32-bit systems. You also got the source files and also the latest alpha releases as well. So those can potentially be useful, but we're just gonna use the standard one. So we're gonna download OpenVPN, click on that link there, and we'll just save this to our Windows desktop. So click on save, and it's very quick to download, it's like six megabytes or something, so that is very small. Now we are gonna need a secondary part of this, so if we head over to another site, so this is vpnbook.com, as you can see, this is a free VPN. You can obviously read more about it if you wish to. And if you go to the free VPN and scroll down, you can see zero pounds per month. If you wish to, you can donate PayPal or Bitcoin, Litecoins, etc. if you wish to. Now you've got some options here. Now, depending on where you live, you could choose a version which is not in your country. So if you're in the UK, you can maybe choose the CA one. So CA is Canada. DE, I believe, is Deutschland or Germany. You've got FR for France. You've also got PL for Poland, UK, etc. So those are the standard ones. But if you want ones which are optimized for faster web surfing, but not for doing peer-to-peer -peer downloads, then you can use the ones which are down here. So we've got a couple of US ones. We've got a Canada one again, Germany, France, Poland, and also another UK one. So depending on which one you want, choose whichever is going to be beneficial to you. So if you're trying to access maybe Netflix from a different country, then potentially the US ones might be beneficial to you. So we're going to just download this one. So we'll choose this bundle here and we'll save this to our desktop also. And what you want to do as well is to leave this window open because at the bottom here, there is the username and also the password to actually set up the VPN connection. So we will be needing that shortly. So you can leave that open. But for now, we'll just minimize the window and we'll go to our desktop and we'll start off with the installation of the open vpn we'll double click on that one to get it started and you can choose the setup type you can customize it should you wish to but you just reset that standard click on install now and it will just install the default version you'll get the user account control pop up so just say yes to that and it'll go through the installation process very quickly so when it's done you can click on close and it's going to give you a warning straight away, Open VPN GUI. It's got no connection profile. So that is why we need the other site. So that's absolutely fine. So you can click on OK. You won't get this after we've done the rest of the steps. So for our server settings, if we unzip the VPN book folder, we we'll choose Extract All and extract it to our desktop still. And inside this folder, you've got a few different options. So depending on which TCP ports or UDP ports you want to use for your VPN, you can choose one which suits you. And as you'll see, they've got the OVPN file extension, which is what is used by OpenVPN for configuration files. So for most people, TCP 80 is gonna be absolutely fine. That's the normal internet port for web browsing, etc. You also got TCP 443, which is normally for encrypted or HTTPS requests. You also got a UDP 53 and also UDP 2500. Now for the fastest speeds, generally, the UDP 2500 is gonna be the most performant, so I would suggest choosing that one. But depending on the sites you're accessing and possibly if you're just using game servers, etc., you may want to change yours periodically. So 
probably worth keeping these somewhere safe just in case you want to change them. Again, entirely up to you. So we've got that section there, that's fine. So now if we go to the open VPN, which will be running in your taskbar down here. So you've got the option to open VPN GUI. Alternatively, you can just start typing open on your searches and you can do it that way, whichever works for you. So that is open in the background now. So we can now look at here and there's a padlock on there. So right click. And now what we want to do is we want to import a file. So this is our configuration file. So if we choose import file and we go back to our Windows desktop and we go into the folder where we downloaded those configuration files. So again, you can choose whichever one you want. I'm going to choose the faster one, which is the UDP 25,000 and click on open. And now if we go back to our VPN GUI, we've now got new options. So previously we would have had connect would have been disabled and obviously disconnect, reconnect wouldn't be there because we hadn't set up a system to actually connect to. So what we do is just click on connect and now it's going to ask us for our username and password, which we discussed a little bit earlier on. So if we open up our window again, just drag that across just so we don't overlay it across where we're typing in and then you can just type in username and password which is down the bottom there so in this instance it's going to be vpn book and then the password at the bottom so 54 ac 423 depending on when you do this yours may change but it's basically like a universal password you can choose to save it as well that's probably beneficial click ok so now if we go over to our open VPN, we can see we've got a green light there, which means we are now connected. And also it's assigned us an IP address. So you can see there we're on 10.10.0.98, whereas normally for this system, I'd be on like 192.168.10 something or other. So it's given us a new IP address. So now we can go ahead and use other sites with some levels of anonymity. But for some people, they're just going to be happy in the knowledge that they've got a VPN installed on their system. Of course, if you don't want to use it, all you need to do is just go to the settings there and just choose disconnect. Choose disconnect and you're back on your normal network and your internet traffic will be coming through as it would be normally from your ISP router with all the usual addresses. If you want to toggle it back on for some reason, just go to the section there, click on connect, and there we go. It'll connect up. So yeah, pretty easy to do and potentially can save you the expense of some systems such as Nord and all those others. So there you go, there is how to install and configure OpenVPN on your Windows desktop PC. Again, if you want to use other types of computers, then there are other options there as well. And potentially this can save you the hassle of spending on a monthly subscription, which most of us try to avoid if at all possible. Possibly not the most elegant solution, but certainly it does work and uh, yeah, it's completely free of charge. So hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and then don't forget to hit the notifications icon. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.